Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and we got ourselves right here a 2002 Honda Civic with the TDC sensor code, code, and that's the top dead center sensor, or in other words, is going to be the cam sensor. I'm going to show you a little cool little trick to show you if the cam sensor is bad on yours. All right, so on this 2002 Honda Civic, it had the code P1361 and P P1362. So uh, with that code is the TDC sensor, and like I said, that's basically a cam sensor. Uh, and so what the customer was complaining is after a 30 minute drive, his car would just shut off and it'll take a while for it to turn on. So our cam sensor, where it's located at, this is the front part of the engine where you can see this is where the timing belt's at and it resides right there for other cars it's going to be diff different applications but if you have the same issue that this car is having where after a long drive it will just shut off i'm going to show you a easy test to test this out so what we're going to be using because like the customer stated for long drives the car will start uh, getting hot in the engine compartment we're going to simulate the heat so we got our heat gun. This is a heat gun from Harbor Freight. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna have my lab scope back over here. And we're actually gonna heat up this uh, cam sensor. You can do this with the crank or cam. And I'm gonna show you the wave, uh, well, we got five volts right here. Uh, here it goes. Right there you got zero, and we're gonna try to get five volts. Because remember, this cam sensor right here is a magnet. So every single time uh, you touch metal, it grounds out right there. But this is the opposite. Without touching metal or any surface, you're going to have zero volts. As soon as you touch, is is, is going to make contact and we're going to get five volts. So what we're going to do, we're going to stick this in the position where it's touching metal the whole time so we can get that five volts so as you can see our sensor right now we are at five volts and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna heat up this uh, sensor with this heat gun not too hot molten hot I'm just gonna heat it up where we get to say operating temperature in the car and you're gonna see it's gonna drop And there you go, it dropped off. And we can move. All right, we're gonna take a step further. I have actually connected the cam sensor back to the to the vehicle. And we got the, the multimeter or the, the graphimeter right here. And we're gonna see the waveform. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it on and I'm gonna put the I'm gonna hook up the, the heat gun to it and we're gonna see it just dwindle off and the car shut off. So here it goes. I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm going to change up the waveform right here. So you can see it better.
And there you go. Check it out. We don't have any signal. All right, so if you do like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. We're going to change out the sensor, and that's going to be our fix right there. Hope you have a nice day. Bye.